Oh, wake up, wake up. You know I love to see your face with no makeup, makeup. Hey, beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a little chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm just gonna be talking about a couple of things that's going on in the media. It's like an emotional video, <laughs> um, but yeah, it can be emotional. Um, and if you guys are wondering why I only keep one earring in, it's because my ear is ripped well it like stretched a little bit and it was like really 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 sore and it's healing um i feel like people are gonna eventually start asking why i only wear my earring and yeah that's why this video was actually supposed to be recorded yesterday but i was kind of like under the weather and not really feeling it for multiple reasons um yesterday the news broke about kobe bryant dad kobe and his daughter did pass away in a helicopter accident and um it kind of just i felt like it was like you know, i don't know if you guys know who nipsey hustle is you should but um earlier last year when nipsey died it was kind of like the same impact it's like i just felt like everyone was so sad and like moping and it's kind of like the same thing right now with Kobe Bryant because he is a legend and you know a lot of people who play sports, who don't play sports, just a lot of people look up to him because he is such a great man. I was kind of just feeling like a little bit off because it's just like, damn, you know, someone could be here today and gone in a second. Hold on guys, besides like I was supposed to record but I just didn't feel like it and it was honestly because he's touched so many people. Whether you were a basketball fan or not, um, Kobe Bryant has touched so many people. And it's just like, damn, like someone could be here today and literally gone tomorrow. Like you hear it all the time where people are telling you to cherish your loved ones and you know, just be good to the people around you because number one, you never know what people are going through. And number two, someone can literally be gone in a split second. Like, he was on a plane to take his daughter to a basketball practice. They got into a helicopter accident and they were, unfortunately, they all passed away. Everyone on the plane passed away. And I wanted to talk about this simply because it's just like, you know, we hear these things every day. We hear like, you know, look after your loved ones tell the people you love that you care about them, you know, show them that you care about them, you know, just give people love while they're here. My grandma always used to say, and I, I know a lot of you have heard the saying, but my grandma always used to say like, give me my flowers while I'm here. And in the most simple, simplest terms, like give me my flowers while I'm here. But you know, when you really think deep into that, it's show me that love while i'm here don't mope don't wish you did things for me when i'm gone because you you just never know when that time will come you know you never know when someone is gonna die it's just like tomorrow's not promised you have to give people love while they're here and it had me really thinking it kind of left me sad because it's just like we hear these things but are you really doing it are you being nice to the people around you are you giving your family love? Are you letting those around you know that they are important to you and that you don't want to lose them? Like, I have to say, Juvia's Place and P. Louise probably have some of the best eyeshadow palettes that I own. Like, P. Louise only has one, but it's some of the, like, one of the best eyeshadow palettes I own. I'm just saying that off of, like, pigment and just how well the shadows perform. Yeah, so, you know, like, you hear people say these things, but are you really doing it? Are you really showing the people around you that you love them? Are you really, you know, being nice to the people around you? Are you making sure that they know that you love them? It's something we hear, but are you really doing that? And I guess that's what left me sad because sometimes like you don't even realize it but you can be such a meanie or you can be such a drama queen or you know just just very difficult to deal with and you know sometimes for i for one could be a, a lot to deal with and sometimes i am not the nicest person and i don't really 
tell my family enough that I love them and I don't, you know, just give them that love that they may be needing. So I guess that's kind of what left me sad because it's just like, bro, am I really being nice to the people around me? Am I really giving them all the love that I can give them? Am I giving them their flowers while they're here, you know? Like, it kind of left me thinking about all of that. So I just didn't want to do anything yesterday. Um, I kind of just grieved. And it, it's crazy how someone that you don't know personally can have such a positive impact in your life, you know? That's someone that can touch people People that don't even know them, their presence is so great. Their presence is just so motivational that you don't even have to know them to love them. And you know that I, that's what Kobe Bryant was. It's insane. Like it, it's insane how people can be here and go into mom like cherish the people you love. You know, give them their flowers while they are here. Be nice to those around you. Just be nice to people because but you truly never know what someone is going through. You know, you can walk into a store and you don't even know someone is going through something, but just you being kind and positive to them, it just made their day. And it's, it's just so important to be a, a good person. And like, you have to be careful with your words. You have to be careful with the things that you say to people, the things that you do to people because you never know how you may impact others. You never know that lasting impression that you can leave on somebody. You never know if someone is going through something and all they needed was just some positivity. You know, walked into that store and you held the door for someone. You don't even know how you just made that person's day. That's my message here today, guys, is just be nice. You know, be nice to those around you. Show the people you Show your family that you love them while you still can. Because you just never know. Tomorrow is really just, it's, it's not promised. And we hear it all the time. And it, it seems like such a cliche saying, tomorrow's really not promised. Like, you can be here today and gone tomorrow. Like, you can be here this minute. Like, I'm talking to you guys in this minute. I could be here right now and gone in just a second. Like, that's just how life works, you know? We're not meant to be here forever so the days that you do have left on this earth the days that you can impact people or be nice to people do just that be that positive light in someone's life it sucks that it isn't until you know tragic things happen that we start to really think about these things because we're just always on the go um, but i just went ahead and put some milk of magnesium on my face I know a lot of people don't like this stuff, but whenever I need to keep my makeup on for long, I will use this. Um, and then I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Eye and Magic Foundation in Angola, which is 140. All right guys, so as I was saying, love on your friends, love on your family, love on your loved ones, you know? Just show them that love and that appreciation while they're here. It's like the unspoken of. It Literally, it's only spoken of when something tragic happens. Just love on your loved one. You don't want something to happen to somebody and you're like, damn, that argument wasn't worth it. Um, that fight wasn't worth it. Whatever, you know, we may have been going through wasn't worth it. And that's why I'm so big on holding grudges. I do not hold grudges because I just don't feel like anything is anything is that deep, you know? I don't feel like, I don't know. I just don't feel like I should be cutting speech from people because who am I? Like, I'm not God. Like, why would I be cutting speech from people? And you know, I'm not gonna say I never have because I have. But I've grown as a person and I've learned that, you know, if something was to happen to these people that you are holding a grudge on or whatever happened between you guys and you are holding a grudge, will you be upset if something happened to them? Will you be crying if something happens to them? You let go of whatever it was that you guys were fighting about. Let go of it because it's, it's, it's truly not worth it. It's it's truly not worth it because you just you just never know like and I think that's the scariest part of life like You never know it's scary, but then it also gives you that 
I need to live my life because I, I just never know. To not be afraid of doing things. I need to not care about what other people have to say about what I'm doing. I just need to do it, you know? I need to live a life of happiness. I need to live a life of going after the things that I want. Because you just, you literally, you just never know. Like, it, it's so crazy. Like, you never know when it's gonna be your last day. Here we pass the day we were born and the day we are potentially gonna die. And you, you just don't know. Like, you don't know that's the day. You don't know what's gonna be the reason of your death. You, you just don't know. So while you have that time on this earth, just shower your loved ones with love, you know? I'm so big on holding grudges, guys, because it's just like, honestly, to me, nothing is that deep, you know? Whatever it is, we can work through it. I'll be the closest again, but I'm not going to hold a grudge against you because at the end of the day, I know that if something was to happen to someone that I care about or that I love, I would be devastated. And to think that we were fighting over something that probably isn't even that deep and now they're gone is just going to make my heart break. So why hold a grudge? Why hold that animosity in my heart? You know, you have to forgive people forgive you may not forget but you have to forgive people if you are fighting with anyone right now if you are you know for whatever reason you are holding a grudge against someone call that person up you know make up with them because tomorrow isn't promised and chances are whatever it is 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 just not worth it it's not worth someone you love leaving this earth not knowing they meant anything to you or you love them it's, it's really not until something crazy or tragic happens that everyone's like oh tomorrow isn't promised you never know tomorrow isn't promised every day it's not only today that tomorrow isn't promised tomorrow wasn't promised yesterday tomorrow isn't promised today tomorrow isn't promised tomorrow i'm using my fenty beauty um matchstick and espresso for contour as literally always not meant to be here forever we're not meant like life isn't indefinite like keep your family and friends close you know keep the people you care about close and you really have to be happy and you have to be grateful for the things that you have in this life because there's someone else suffering there's someone else that does not have that but just just be grateful people don't say these things for you guys to fear death because death is not to be feared it's a part of life it's a never-ending cycle you're meant to come <laughs> do what god needs us to do and dip like when he calls you home that's it like it's, it's time for you to go home you can't you can't stop that so why you have these moments just be a good person you know hold that door the point of this video is just for you guys to love on your loved ones be good to the people around you even if somebody is doing something that you may not agree with it's easier said than done but just be good because you you just you literally never know don't be burning unnecessary bridges don't be mean to people just be positive it takes a lot more energy to be a nasty person than to be a good person so be a good person i think what breaks my heart the most about family um his wife his daughters that are left it impacts the world but it's gonna impact his wife the most a couple of days almost everyone will forget about this because that's just just how the world works i, I won't say forget about it but it won't be as popular on social media lose a child and your husband in one sitting has to be the hardest thing ever all i'm doing is running the two pinks on my water not just for today but just moving forward shift your perspective life is too short you know appreciate your surroundings your blessings appreciate the moment because you you just never know when this moment this moment right here can be my last you don't want to go regretting anything so live life with no regret just use the myx jumbo pencil and white this black radiance blush in toasted almond um i've never used this blush before but we're gonna see what it's hitting for this is such a tragic loss and it's gonna take the world some time to get over this one and I'm just praying for anyone that is going through something. I'm praying for unity, not only in times like this, but unity always, you know? Um, 
just for us not to come together in such tragic times but we come together for happy things I do like this blush this blush is so pretty it's not too much and it does have a bit of a glow in it they pick up the black radiance artist that bake um bronzer do whatever it is that you have been putting off do whatever it is that you know have you've been wanting to do but you're not so sure about just do it because tomorrow literally isn't promised and i'm just gonna be spraying my face with the morphe setting mist if you don't have this go get it because it's bomb Okay guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to take something from this video. I just want you guys to know that nothing is ever that deep to be holding a grudge against someone. And when you hold a grudge, you don't allow your own heart to heal and you don't allow yourself to be at peace because you're holding this grudge against someone. Reach out to that person, let them know that you love them. Let them know that you appreciate them. Um, no matter what it is that you guys were fighting about or you were arguing about, I promise you it is not worth it. So I encourage you guys to reach out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys will enjoy this series. Um, this Let's Talk About It series because we will be discussing pretty much every and anything. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys who do support me for supporting. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.